all-in-one drone, fighter plane, and helicopter. This is the future of VTOL helicopters in the United States. At a time when world powers must become even more formidable, no military asset can afford to be useless in almost every operation. As a result, classic helicopters must now make way for tilt rotors, a more modern type of aircraft. They fly faster and farther, and they have higher VTOL agility. To grasp the significance of VTOL and tilt rotors, it is necessary first to understand how it works. Welcome back to another exciting video. Today's video is about next generation VTOL helicopters are coming. Before we start the video, please like subscribe and press the bell icon. How VTOL works. VTOL, which stands for Vertical Takeoff and Landing, refers to aircraft that can take off, hover, and land vertically. Some of the most well-known examples include the helicopter, Harrier Jump Jet, and F-35 Lightning II, which all similarly achieve VTOL. The challenge is to direct a thrust downwards and take off from an upward push reaction. The helicopter's rotating blades generate thrust in the same way that a vast propeller does. This push is vertical. The helicopter tilts slightly forward to direct some of its thrust forward, although slowly and inefficiently. The Harrier is powered by a massive single engine with four thrust vectoring nozzles that may all point downwards during liftoff. After liftoff, they are re-angled for forward flight. Where the jet, well, flies like a jet. The F-35B is in a similar situation, except that it has only one thrust vectoring nozzle, supported by a fan under the cockpit that also produces thrust downwards. Once liftoff is achieved, the arrangement is adjusted for fighter jet agility. There are several significant points here. The helicopter's spinning blades remain the most efficient and fastest VTOL configuration, while the jet configuration is more agile in flight. Bell Boeing V-22 Osprey each wingtip has one three-bladed prop rotor, a turboprop engine, and a melted transmission nacelle. The Bell Boeing V-22 Osprey is a hybrid of a helicopter and a jet. Its default takeoff configuration is comparable to a helicopter but less complicated. During takeoff, the aircraft's nacelles are vertical and its rotors are horizontal. Once in flight, the nacelles move forward 90 degrees in as little as 12 seconds for horizontal flight, transforming the Osprey into a more fuel-efficient, faster fixed-wing aircraft. Most missions use fixed-wing flight 75% of the time or more of the time, which reduces wear and tear and operational costs while allowing for longer-range line-of-sight communications for more excellent command and control. Because helicopters lack this capability, the Osprey would begin to usurp duties and missions from its soon-to-be-retired predecessors, particularly the Black Hawk medium-lift helicopter. Aside from that advantage, the V-22 Osprey is a better machine. It is more than 170% quicker than the Hawks 183, with a top speed of 316 miles per hour. While the Hawk has a surface ceiling of 19,000 feet, the Osprey's prop rotor blades and 43% of its airframe are made of composite materials for weight savings. However, the Osprey isn't all sunshine and rainbows. For one thing, it cannot rely solely on one engine in the event of an engine failure. Furthermore, if a prop rotor gearbox malfunctions, the prop rotor cannot be feathered, and both engines must be turned off before an emergency landing. Then, there are the poor autorotation characteristics caused by the low inertia of the rotor. To make matters worse, the engines generate so much heat that if put aboard a ship, they may destroy the flying deck and coating. Valor Bell V280 The Bell V280 Valor is one example. Bell Textron is developing the Bell V280 Valor tilt rotor in collaboration with Lockheed Martin and several other reputable companies such as Lockheed Martin, Moog Inc., GE Aviation, GKN, Spirit Aerosystems, Eaton Corporation, Astronics Advanced Electric Systems, Israel Aerospace Industries, and Textron's sister company, TRU Simulation and Training. This all-star team became necessary since the V-280 competed in the United States Army's joint multi-role program against other challengers. Bell AVX Aircraft, Crum Aircraft, 
and a Sikorsky Boeing team were given technology investment agreements in 2013 to develop the technologies and interfaces that would be incorporated into the tilt rotor prototype. The Army provided $6.5 million to each of these four teams for phase one of the program. However, with Bell, the creator of the V-22 Osprey, pitted against Sikorsky, the creator of the Black Hawk helicopter, the battle would heat up fast, forcing Bell to invest an undisclosed sum of its own money. In 2014, both of these teams would be selected to move on to phase two of the program, where the V-280 from the Bell team and the SB-1 Defiant from the Sikorsky Boeing team would compete to provide a tilt rotor that focused on the infantry squad and can handle much like a helicopter in terms of low-speed agility to have an unprecedented pitch, roll, and yaw response to those operations. The V-280 was meant to accomplish these goals while pushing the envelope by traveling twice as fast and twice as far as contemporary medium-lift helicopters in its size range. This amounts to a cruising speed of 320 miles per hour, 280 knots. The V-280 has a maximum capacity of 2,400 miles and an effective combat range of up to 920 miles, hence the name. These qualities will be critical, especially for transit across enormous distances such as the Pacific. According to the program director, a single forward operating base of these planes could safeguard a whole country. The engines in the V-280 remain in place, unlike the V-22 Osprey, but the rotors and driven shafts tilt. In engine failure, a drive shaft runs through the straight wing, allowing both prop rotors to be driven by a single engine. The landing gear on the V-280 will be retractable, a V-tail design, and a triple redundant fly-by-wire control system. GKN's V-tail structure and rudder vendors will offer the airframe with excellent mobility and control. It will be constructed from a mix of metals and composites. To save weight and production costs, the wings are likewise composed of composites. Interior features include wirelessly charging troops radios, night vision goggles with 3D display, windows with 3D display, and other gear. So, 3D display. Next Gen VTOL. To stay up with rising threats, the next generation of VTOL vehicles must follow several fundamental design principles, with three in particular taking the lead. Number three, modular open architectures. Future VTOL vehicles must be able to modify or replace baseline systems with new technology as new threats emerge. This means that the systems are not so securely attached to the aircraft that alterations and upgrades are difficult or expensive. Number two is a resilient mesh network. Future VTOL vehicles must have enhanced communications capabilities that allow them to take advantage of all connectivity options available in the radio frequency section of the electromagnetic spectrum. And there isn't a better method to do it than with a mesh network in which all prospective actors are in a communications environment that is seamlessly compatible. As a result, each asset can access additional sources of situational awareness and target information with the instantaneity that only continuous connectivity can provide. Number one is manned unmanned teaming. Man-to-man -man teaming, a core component of even sixth generation jets, ushers in expanded capabilities while lowering the danger to pilots and higher value assets. Said unmanned devices will handle much of the difficult job in future aerial missions. This feature will become much more critical with the launch of future drones, such as Bell's V-247 Vigilant. The V-247 is a large, runway-independent Group 4 or 5 tilt rotor uncurred aerial vehicle designed to give the most comprehensive assistance to ground forces while taking up the most negligible storage and transit space. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content.